Diane in Denmark here and I'm back with another one of the Fly Ladies cleanup missions. Now remember what I said yesterday, use these missions when you are ready for them. There is, there is no kind of set time plan for these and remember that you can use these missions for cleaning up after any kind of celebration. Um, you know, I've said it before, 50th birthday party, it could be a graduation party, Hanukkah, Ramadan, you use these missions just to plan your event and then to get back to normal after your event. And that's what we're doing. Yesterday, we got rid of all the, you know, the wrapping paper, the cards that uh, maybe we hadn't uh, sent this year, you know, anything that we hadn't used. And we used our timer, we set our trusty timer just for five or 10 minutes and we got those put away. I got mine put away and it was really nice to get the, uh, the big table in my office back again. I put away, you know, the scissors, sellotape, got all that done. And today's mission, number two, well, you can see that I'm sitting in our living room. You, you've seen me decluttering and detail cleaning in here. If you need any help for, for that, there's, you know, the usual playlist. And this is my spot, you know, this is where I like to sit and read um, and relax, you know, with a good book. And beside me, I have a bag of gifts. Now, I, I, if you saw the video that I made about Danish traditions, you will know what, what Christmas is like in Denmark. We celebrate Christmas on the 24th. And after we've danced around the Christmas tree, you know, we hold hands and dance around the Christmas tree, we open our gifts one by one. And what happens at the end of the evening is that everybody puts their gifts into a large bag, like a, usually an IKEA bag. And uh, I just put mine in this this year because um, that looked quite festive. And the last couple of days, this bag has been sitting next to me. This is my favourite spot. I'm a bit like Sheldon. You know, I can see the television from here. I can see what's going on in the room. And today for our second mission, we're going to find a home for all the gifts that you have received. Now, if you don't, if you haven't received any gifts, you can, you can go off and just immediately pamper. But for those of us who have received gifts, and especially, you know, for the kids, we're going to set our timer again for 10 or 15 minutes and you're just going to go through them one by one and find a home for these things. Now, I'll, I'll go through mine just to give you an idea, uh, but also beside me, I can see my daughter, uh, she got one of those light box things. That is an empty box. If there are any instructions that you need to keep, take those out, you know, and put them in your, you know, if you've got an office in a bag or... Uh, you know, an, an area where you keep your, your office things, your paper things. Put those to the side, but get the boxes into the recycling. All our paper and bows, all those kind of things that we, we took off, you know, when we're unwrapping presents, those are already in our recycling, but we still have a few boxes. So, you know, uh, get things out of their boxes. And I'll just go through my uh, stash here and I shall talk you through it. So... Um, box of chocolates uh, that I got from mum. We've already eaten quite a few of these and these, as you may know, now they're going to go up to uh, our bedroom and I keep these in my bedside roll away cabinet and then when I go to bed early, you know, when I'm pampering, I get to bed early, take my book with me and I have a few chocolates from mum. So that, that's, those are going up to the bedroom. And then uh, I got some uh, DVDs for Christmas. Uh, this one we watched last night and I'm going through uh, watching a couple of episodes of Father Brown every day. So these are going to go with our DVDs beside the television just now. And once we've watched them, of course, they, they go back into this uh, chest of drawers that we got from, uh, that belonged to my Danish um, father-in-law, dearly departed Danish father-in-law. So that, that's where our DVDs live, in, in a drawer in there. And if I can't get any more DVDs in, in one of the drawers, that means, you know, we're probably not watching them all and some of them can come out, so I'll do clutter. But anyway, we, we're watching these right now. And, or at least I'm watching these right now. Um, and a book, which I'm looking forward to. If you, if you don't know the Andrea Camilleri, great... Uh, 
crime series um, set in Sicily, fantastic, lots of food, good weather. That's why I love reading it so much. It's a very change from the weather in Denmark. So that is going up beside my bed, along with the chocolates from mum. Right, next, oh yes, um, this was from one of my uh, besties. I got a set of really nice bath stuff. Now, if you got a set like this, you know, in, in, this was in plastic packaging, take it out and use it. Do not, do not take that, that whole box and, you know, just shove it into the wardrobe like I used to do. Use it. Somebody has given you this gift. They want you to use it. You've not to keep it and be staring at it next year when you are decluttering your, your closet. Uh, I actually took up the um, shower gel and I used it yesterday. So that is already in the bathroom and these are going to go up to the bathroom. Uh, and this one is a hand cream. Is it hand cream this one? Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to keep that in the downstairs uh, guest bathroom for, you know, if, if I'm in there and doing my hands. So those are going to go away there. Yeah, please, please use these things. Don't kind of keep them for a special occasion. Every day is a special occasion. You know, that's why in Denmark, Denmark we have this thing about hygge. It's like making everyday things special. And, you know, use these gifts. Now, uh, this is <laughs> making everyday special. This is some uh, really nice gin that I got from uh, my brother and his fiancée and that is plum and vanilla so that's going into the drinks cabinet round there. I haven't opened it yet but uh, I'll probably open that for new year. Let me just pop that my little table. Oh this was another thing that came in the the pack of the nice smelly stuff. Right. Okay what else? Oh <laughs> For those of you who have seen the picture of my shiny sink that I post on Instagram every night, you, you will know this very well. This was from one of my besties. She knows me really well. So that's going, going to go into the kitchen underneath the sink from, for when I uh, finish using the one that I've got right now. Uh, this, oh yeah, um, my husband got me a, a great uh, dab plus and internet radio and that's the instruction book for that so that I need to put away it's a, a put away item uh, oh yeah and another thing from uh, one of my besties a really nice tea towel so if you're following me on Instagram Diane in Denmark you will see this appearing very soon it's a Flora Danica one and it is if I'm not mistaken it's a lily of the valley yeah, it's a type of lily of the valley, very nice, and which is really, so, uh, this, this was from um, Vibica, you know, my friend who does the paper decorations and, and uh, you saw me over at her house and she was showing you how to make things and the lovely things she has in her house. She, as I've told you before, she's fantastic at oh, crocheting and uh, decorating and look at these, she has crocheted these uh, for little um, cloths for the sink because she sees me posting the picture on the sink and she thought it, was <laughs> it would be nice to, to have these ones. And can you imagine? She spent time making these for me. These are beautiful. So you, you will see these very soon on one of my shiny sink pictures. So that was also from Vibica. So those are all going into the kitchen. It's almost kind of too nice to use them, but I know she wants me to use them and I'm going to use them. After all that time that she spent. <clears throat> she also uh, gave me a packet of these, which you will also have seen um, when I've been decluttering in the bedroom or detail cleaning in zone four. Most of them are eaten. There are a few falling out here. Um, oh yes, this is something that the kids bought me, something that had been on my wish list, a really good torch. I know, I, I like practical things. Uh, that's going to go into the hall cupboard and then, it, you know, if there's a power cut or whatever, everybody knows where, where the torch is. That's a really good, powerful one. And what else have we got in here? Oh, a nice um, keyring, also from one of my besties. And a little soap that's going to go upstairs to the bathroom. And the keyring I'll use for... Um, my bathing keys, you know, when, for when I'm done skipping. Oh, and um, another thing that was on my wish list, which was a new spatula. 
Look at that one, isn't it fun? With a, a kind of winter motif. So that's going to go into the kitchen. Uh, and there are a few other things that I don't really want to show you because it's personal. Um, put those down. But that, that was just to, to show you, you know, go through these things right now. Find a home for things. Don't, don't leave them, you know, in the living room. Uh, and especially the, the kids' gifts, you know, get things out of boxes. Um, remember and keep any, you know, if you've got a guarantee for it and uh, instructions, take those out right now and put them you know with with your with with papers do do not kind of leave these boxes lying around and then suddenly you want to clear up and you throw everything out and you've forgotten something important inside the box so anyway i'm not going to keep you back any longer because i've already been talking for 10 minutes but remember set your timer so you just do 10 minutes do as much as you can find your homes for these things and then once you've finished Remember to get your feet up. We're still in the month of December if you're watching these videos in December. Fly Lady at Habit is a pampering self-care. So sit back, you know, uh, put on, uh, you know, put on a DVD, um, read a couple of chapters of a book, read a glossy magazine, paint your nails, go for a walk, pet the um, hedgehog, whatever you have, and just do something nice for you. Right, anyway, I'm going to get all these things away. So uh, Diana, Denmark, live long and prosper and see you tomorrow. Okay, bye for now.